My name is Tino Dornelas and I'll be showing you some new products that I'm working with in the restoration of a sailboat, Valiant 40. Uh, one of the problems we're having is uh, rotten balsa core in the sandwich of the boat. The traditional way of repairing uh, in situations like this would be to cut off the, the damaged area and uh, remove all the core and then utilize uh, a Airex foam or Divinicel foam. They're, they're good structural foams, they're high density and, and they are actually become part of the structure of the sandwich. As we can see in here on the deck, um, I dug out all the rotten core and I kind of measured and took a, kind of a profile of where I need to fill this area and or repair the area so this all this entire area is soft and it was completely rotted out core and the, this was soft so with this irregular area and without having to do major destruction of a really good solid surface um, there are the, the only options that existed out there before were uh, the polyurethane foams which are not structural they will disintegrate and really the only vi viable thing was to laminate onto cores like that to create a good sandwich construction. But I've come across two companies, out, the only two companies that I know, and this one, uh, the people pro said have probably one of the highest quality uh, resins and, and products. And here's a, a sample of the um, expanded foam already. This is a resin that once mixed, it will expand, similar to the urethane uh, do your thing top uh, pour foams like the A and B pour foams they're being traditional but the difference is this is a structural foam it becomes part of the epoxy and you will not disintegrate you will not it's a closed cell foam as well and this thing is like hard as a rock and it's, it's just amazing how, how hard it is so it would be nice to get something like this in liquid form that will become like this and this is the situation here with a with a resin and a hardener. This stuff is uh, the expanding epoxy foam, that's the M2037, that's the, uh, the hardener. And the resin is the M1034 expanding epoxy foam. I found a good solution for dispensing. So I raided my wife's uh, kitchen and I got her cake decorating bags and eventually you know bought industrial quantities of it uh, and basically put the basing bags inside of an oil funnel screw it onto something st sturdy so I can so it can hold it for me so I can use both hands and pour it in there the idea is to insert the bag way inside in there push the foam inside and then do the repair on it so that's basically our plan we're going to do this deck and then also we're going to do one of the port lights, which is a vertical surface, which is, can be pretty tricky. I like to do things by weight because it's more accurate. So you multiply by two and a half and you, you know, you put the, the amount of, of resin on. So here we go. This one is the more challenging one because it's pretty viscous. So the only thing that I have as a comment is a, a better way to dispense uh, of this instead of being on a on a bucket because it's kind of hard to uh, do this without doing a mess. I got the scale zeroed. So once the once the the liquids are there, you got to mix it and kind of move. You cannot just kind of dilly dolly around, but it certainly gives you a lot more time than the the urethane foams, which will start expanding like mad. This resin takes a, a little bit longer, probably in the range of five minutes you can start getting expansion. So it gives you some time to work everything into the bag and work into the areas where you want to inject the, the material. So I'm mixing and scraping as much as I can. I think it's best of a job of making a good mixture. All right, and time to pour. I'm also using double gloves to make sure that if I get messed up in my hands that I can rip them out and put some new ones for the next operation without 
getting it on my skin. The deck is going to get sanded so I don't worry too much about it. So here we have the Miracle Juice. Try to fold it as carefully as possible and get my little scissors. And then off we go. Stick it way inside in there. Having some firmness on it allows me to go as far as pretty deep in there. There you go. Just pass some gas in there. And from my last calculations, it took about 15 20 minutes to start seeing that it was actually expanding. So it gives you some time to go and make several batches. All right, another batch working on it. But I must not. You really have to pay attention when you get all involved on this that you don't use this same mixing stick back on the original bucket. So So as you can see this thing connects all the way to here everything was hollow and it's moving right along it's the first batches are starting to expand and actually moving into the rest but it's a it's a slow expansion it's not like some explosive expansion like on the urethane foams i did this area first all this was rotten all the way around here and it's super solid now whereas this you can see the skin how it flexes under and this foam is going to just fill it all in become rigid and then you have again a, a very good surface because here the steering wheel was wobbling everywhere from it from the ground being soft all right this is the fourth batch and i'm going to now start filling to the sides a lot of it has i'm going to try to push as far out as it can This will continue to expand for quite a while, but I think that this is like the cat's meow, man. So I'm gonna put some resistance in here, so because I put a lot of uh, new material on, and I'm gonna just put a little weight in here, and uh, to make resistance, so then the expansion will go more here towards all the crevices they left over and the same thing we decide to here we go it's starting to expand quite a bit and so I'm gonna put a lid also on top of this to try to go out a little bit more so the temptation now here is because this is coming out quite a bit is to try to force keep pressure here to force stuff out but by feeling it in here I can feel it's hot so that means it has reached it actually is touching the upper skin 
it all the re it's nice and hot all the way around here i can feel it it's reached the end and here it's still getting to it because this is the more recent uh mixture but i'm happy that this is reached as far as i had reached firm foam i mean firm balsa so i'm good to go i'm pretty happy with this so um it's been about 40 minutes. I'm uh, using some denatured alcohol to clean some of the sticky parts. But here I'm going to be sanding all this and painting. I'm not too concerned with it. But anyways, just so I don't track it around, I'm just cleaning some of the, uh, of the sticky stuff. It, because it's fairly warm, it's probably 85, 82 degrees today. And this is all hard about 40 minutes after the last installation. It's of course, I'm not going to walk anywhere around here anytime soon, but you can tell this stuff, it's still quite warm in here. It's, it really has expanded all the way to the edges, which I'm very happy with. And uh, so it's, we have a nice hard ground again, and you can see I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.